The Lord of the Rings may have taken a back seat with King Kong now in the limelight, but for some of the actors, the trilogy continues. Jed Brophy has had roles in both The Lord of the Rings and King Kong. It's a pleasure to have him in the studio today. How are you, Jed? I'm good, thank you, Jackie. How are you? Now, you um, have been going to these Lord of the Rings conventions and festivals around the world. How, I have. how many have you gone to? Um, this, I'm, I'm off to my fifth or sixth, I think, this time. And what, what are they all about? It's really a, an opportunity for the fans to come and meet some of the people in the lesser known parts um, who are involved in the film and to, and to hear some of the anecdotes and the stories and, and the things that we got up to. And, just, and, and also to, um, for collectors, we, we sign autographs of the photos of the characters we played. And is it quite fun or do you get a bit sick of it now? It, it kind of depends. Some of them are really fun. There are some where um, the Kiwis are expected to get up and do radio plays and show and tell and, and kind of re-enacting some of the stunt fights that we did on the, on the film. Some of them are just sitting there and signing and those are kind of gruelling because they're there for you know, eight or nine hours just trying to be pleasant to people. And after the 100th and 20th uh, autograph, it's like... It's really hard. And you do get cramp. I got very consistent with my autograph. My <laughs> bank manager's quite happy about that. But you do run out of things to say to people, i found, is, is the hardest thing. Now, you're off to London next week for another uh, Lord of the Rings festival. What will you be doing there? Um, it's, it's called the Fellowship Festival, and it's probably the biggest one run in the UK now. It's over four days, and it's going to be emceed by Kiwis Craig Parker and Mark Ferguson. And that's one of the ones where we get up and we do lots of stuff. I'll be doing some stunt, um, showing people how to hit people off the back of a horse, um, and some question and answer stuff, and also there's going to be a radio play and, and, and the obligatory sitting and signing. Now, you played Shaku and, and um, Snagger. Snagger. Snagger, sorry, mm. Snagger. And um, you did a lot of stunt work with, with those two characters. Let's have a look at them now. Oh my oh, goodness. Yes. Such good looking people. <laughs> How scary is that? <laughs> now that was Sha Shaku. That's Shaku, yes. Yep. Very, very scary. And that was Schnaga. Schnaga. Mm. Very, very scary. Now tell me a, a bit about having to um, get your makeup done and, and get in that whole costume. That must have been yeah, phenomenal. It was. It was the, 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 the Shaku character, the one who's the leader of the Wag Riders, was six hours. So I'd get there at two or three in the morning. No way, and that yeah, early. Yeah, and my makeup artist Domini would be there. They'd all be there, all the makeup people would be there early as well. And it required lots of prosthetic applications which were put on separately, like a nose piece and a chin piece and cheek pieces and head piece, and then nine layers of body paint. And then getting to the costume, the contact lenses were the last things to go in. And then two hours each night to take it off. So you just have to jump in the shower literally and wash it off. They had five, there was one day where they had five people rubbing um, I think it was called Mirror State or something to get the makeup off me. Oh it was my a very goodness. weird experience. So you just had to wear like speedos and that was it. That's right. <laughs> it's very embarrassing. <laughs> and um, now you were saying to me before that you were you did 18 hour days. Yeah. Um, for the Shaku character, there'd be 12 hours of filming, but there were six hours of makeup before that, so it'd be an 18 hour day. And there were a couple of times where we only did only a couple of times we did two days in a row where I'd go home at 11 at night and be back at two in the morning the next day, so some pretty gruelling weeks. Now, as the character um, Schnaga, you, you get your head cut off. I do. How, how um, does that work? Um, <laughs> they, they have a, a, a kind of a model that has just the head, and they have the, the actor coming up with the sword and stopping just there, and then they take everything else out apart from the model head, and then just do the last bit, and then the head falls off. So it's all done with mirrors. It's all trick photography. Wow. The weird thing about that is I was actually also um, working for the horse department playing uh, a rider and the day I got my head cut off I also rode over the hill and threw a spear at the guy who just cut my head off. <laughs> it's very strange. It was a re ultimate revenge. <laughs> now you're um, very good. You, you're really involved in training horses yep. and you actually bought your horse that you were riding on Lord of the Rings. Uh, it was, was um, co-written by myself and a rider called Carl Taylor and he actually bought the horse at the end of filming and then I, he was going to race the horse because it was a thoroughbred and I bought it off him. And is it like part of the family now? It is now, yeah. yeah. What, what's his name? His name is Seb, Seb and he's yep. a seven-year-old um, chestnut gelding and 
we, we had a lot of chestnuts on the show to be the um, to be the royal guard, the Rohan royal guard horses. So he was one of those, but he was also one of the horses used in all the close-up fighting. So he's very immune to people jumping all over him. Now you've been involved in King Kong as I well. Have. Tell us a little bit about that, or whatever you can tell us. Yeah, I can't really say much, but I was part of the um, venture boat crew and um, filmed for about 16 weeks, so 18 weeks altogether on that, and just finished last week. Now what made you decide to become an actor? Funnily enough, I went. And, I was doing a phys ed degree at Otago University, and I went and saw a play called Wednesday to Come by um, fabulous playwright Renee, and Miranda Harcourt was in that production down there, and um, Lisa Warrington, who ran the drama course at university, directed it, and I came away from that just thinking, well, I'd quite like to do that. That looks like it'd be quite a lot of fun. So I ended up doing her drama course, and then her and Miranda convinced me, Lisa and Miranda convinced me to go to drama school. So I did. Wow. Never taught phys ed. Now, you've known Peter Jackson for a while, haven't you? Yep. Now, how tough has it been, um, you know, having a family and being an actor and being able to, you know, buy your own home, that kind of stuff? It's, it's really difficult. Um, for, the, for the 12 years or so that I was doing it for a while, the bank said no. E even though I was self-employed and I made quite a good income some years, there were years where, where I just didn't. The hardest thing, I think, is having to go away all the time. You have this mm. great house where you live, but to, to actually be in constant employment, you have to go away to, to other places, so you're always living out of a suitcase, mm. and I find that the hardest. And, and I suppose your fa family finds that pretty hard too? Yeah, they've, they've got kind of used to it. I think it's quite a good thing for our family that I go away occasionally. I'm quite grumpy if I don't work, so <laughs> the fact that I go away and I can come back and be pleasant, and, and when I am home I do a lot of work around the home too. I've just yeah. put a door in my house actually. Oh, it's a bit of a DIY man. I hope it stays up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, so what's next for you? Um, or after these uh, conventions, I come back and I'm doing a short film called um, A New Place to Call Home, which and, and where I play an Iraqi. Wow. An, an ex-military Iraqi who's come to New Zealand with his family. So it'll be a challenge. Fantastic. Well, we'll mm. look forward to seeing that. Thank you. Good luck with your trip to uh, London for the Lord of the Rings uh, Festival. Thank you very much.